It wasn't words or numbers that spoke to us, it was chemistry. A silent message drifting through space, woven into the gas plume of an object science would soon call 3i Atlas. This wasn't just another comet. This was a riddle, traveling across the vast emptiness between stars, waiting for someone to listen. And when it reached our sun, the universe practically shouted. The very large telescope in Chile was the first to catch it, an interstellar traveler, venting strange gases as it neared the sun. At first astronomers shrugged, another comet maybe, but then the data started rolling in, and the story changed. Big time. The gases were loaded with carbon dioxide, there was cyanide sure, but also something way stranger pure nickel. Not a hint of iron. That's not just unusual, it's impossible. In nature, nickel and iron are always found together. They're like cosmic twins, forged in the hearts of stars, stuck together in every meteorite we've ever found. To find just nickel? That's like finding peanut butter with no jelly on the same sandwich. Something, or someone, had to have separated them. It wasn't a chemical accident. It was a signature. The kind you see in a factory, not a nebula. So, the world watched. 3i Atlas was only the third interstellar object we'd ever seen up close. But it was by far the strangest. It was huge. Over 46 kilometers across, no tail, no classic comet glow, just a weird tear-shaped coma and a chemical cocktail we'd never seen before. Astronomers, amateurs, and news anchors all started to wonder, was this thing natural, or did someone make it? Then came the jaw dropper. The nickel wasn't just pure, it was being released steadily. Iron, still missing. The odds of this being a random space rock were dropping fast, scientists who usually argued about everything suddenly fell silent. The evidence pointed to design, technology, maybe a relic, maybe a probe, maybe some cosmic junk that got left behind. But whatever it was, 3i slash Atlas was about to rewrite everything we thought we knew. And then there was the orbit. Instead of wandering in randomly, 3i slash Atlas followed the ecliptic, the same flat path our planets use to circle the sun. The chance of that happening by accident? Almost zero. Some started whispering, was this thing sent here on purpose? Was it watching us? And if so, why now? If you traced its journey back, it would have left its home system right around the 1940s, the same time humans first split the atom and started leaking radio into space. Coincidence? Maybe. Or maybe just maybe this was a reply. Suddenly every telescope on Earth wanted a piece of the action. Subaru, Keck, the VLT all zeroed in. Radio dishes listened for any sign of a signal. On October 3, 2025, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter would swing by for a close look. The world held its breath. Was 3i slash Atlas a product of some wild cosmic process we hadn't discovered, or was it truly, undeniably artificial? History tells us to be careful. We've been fooled before, like with the WOW! signal or pulsars we thought were alien beacons. Nature can be weird, sometimes weird enough to fool us all. But 3i slash Atlas? It felt different, it looked engineered. No matter what, one thing was clear, it had already changed us. If it was natural, it would shake the foundations of science. If it was built, that would mean we're not alone. Either way, it forced us to look up to ask bigger questions to imagine more boldly. 3. I slash Atlas isn't just a rock, it's a mirror. It reflects our curiosity, our fear, our hope. The universe didn't speak in words this time, but in chemistry, in silence, in motion. And from that day on, no one looked at the night sky the same way again. Every star became a question, every shadow a possibility, every mystery a reminder that the cosmos has secrets waiting to be found. As 3i slash Atlas continues its journey, so do I, and so do you, reaching, wondering, never letting go of that cosmic question, what else is out there?